You know, if you play enough Breath of the Wild, you acquire all this awesome loot, and now you just need some place to show it off. Or maybe you've acquired enough rupees that the next logical step is clearly going to be investing in real estate. Well, you can purchase your very own house in Atino, which will allow you to place your weapons, bows, and shields on the wall. It'll also give you a bed that you can use to heal for free whenever you want, so you don't have to pay those exorbitant in prices anymore. I'm looking at you, Prima, and your double price soft bed package, which I'll inevitably buy, of course, because I'm worth it. It also comes with a convenient outdoor guest room. Now that's what I call hospitality. My name's Caleb Simpson, and welcome to my my guide for how to complete the Hylian Homeowner side quest in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The first step in our real estate adventure is going to be acquiring rupees. We need 3,000 in order to place the down payment on the house, and then another 800 to get all the gear displays, which is the most valuable thing that it has to offer, in my opinion, and then finally 600 to get all the optional goodies in order to complete the side quest. Farming Farish Horns at Riola Spring will give you about 300 rupees every 20 seconds or so, and you can keep doing this for a long time, which is by far the fastest way to make money in Breath of the Wild. If you'd like to see how to do this, then refer to my Dragon Parts guide, and I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. The second best way to make money is to hunt the pinatas of Hyrule. Rare Talos will drop a whole bunch of rare gems when defeated, which can be sold for tons of rupees. My recommendation would be to hunt the three rare Talos that are on the left side of Hyrule, kind of close to Rito Village. They're close to warp points, they're easy to defeat, and they also reappear every Blood Moon. Next, you need 30 wood, and you probably already have most of that, so if you need just a smidge more, just smack any old trees, and I recommend you alternate between your two bomb rune cooldowns so that you don't waste the durability on your weapons. However, if you are planning to do the follow-up quest to build Terry Town, which I highly recommend, that will require an additional 100 bundles of wood, which is a ton. So, if you need a bunch, the fastest place to get wood in the entire game is to go to Rito Stables, which is right next to Rito Village. So warp on over there, and there's a bunch of wood piles that can be blown up to get a whole bunch of free wood. There's also taller trees here. These bigger ones will drop more wood per... Uh, like wood log that you blow up, so they give you more wood in general. Anyways, blow up a bunch of stuff in the area, then save your game and load your game to reset all the stuff and make everything reappear, and then you can collect it again. So just keep doing that until you have all the wood you need. Otherwise, too, if you have purchased the DLC, you can also use the travel medallion and warp to it in order to have faster loading screens. With all that in hand, you want to warp back to Hatino at the Magana Shrine, and just south of that, you'll find the building we're looking to purchase. You want to go find Bolson, who is the foreman of the construction crew, and he will be somewhere around the building so to search around the back and stuff, you should find him pretty quick. He does go home at night though, so just sleep at the nearby campfire if it's nighttime to make it day again, and then you should find him right away. Mm. Here's a humorous conversation at this point, but the first thing you need to do is say yes, you're willing to purchase it for 50,000 rupees. He was just kidding about that, he was just trying to uh, mess with you. But anyway, uh, he will then drop the price down to 3,000 rupees and 30 bundles of wood. Mm. Once he's done speaking, this will then add the Hylian homeowner side quest to your quest log, and then Bolson and the rest of the crew will then go chill near the nearby campfire. So one of the things that's kind of confusing about this side quest is just the fact that there are three possible locations for Bolson, but in addition to that, you will not be anywhere if it's at night, because he goes home at night, I believe, is the deal. So, if it's nighttime, you will not find Bolson at any of these locations. Instead, you need to sleep at a campfire to make a day. So initially, you can find him behind the house here in Hatino, but only during the day, and after you've expressed interest in purchasing the house, he will move over to the nearby campfire. So once he's moved over to this location, you can now purchase the house for 3,000 rupees and 30 bundles of wood. Now, this event will gain us access to the ability to purchase upgrades, but it also also gains us access to the Terrytown side quest, which is kind of like the follow-up side quest, except that it also takes place around the same time that you're trying to purchase upgrades. So you can purchase upgrades, or you can do the Terrytown side quest, and they happen simultaneously. The reason that's important to note is because during the Terrytown side quest, there is an event in which Bolson will actually leave Hatino and go to Terrytown. So if you have that happen to you, then you will not be able to purchase upgrades here in Hatino. So how you fix this is you just go to Terrytown, you speak with Bolson after all the events take place there, and you can ask him to go back to Hatino so that you can continue getting upgrades. And that'll be right next to the Rito shopkeeper, but only during the day. So if it's nighttime, sleep at a nearby campfire to make Bolson appear. Anyway, after you have successfully purchased a house, you can speak with Bolson again in order to purchase various upgrades to spruce up the place. There are 14 of them total, and each one will cost 100 rupees, which means it costs 1,400 rupees mm -hmm. to purchase all of them. Now, if you don't want to get all of them, I would recommend you at least get all of the gear upgrades. There is one weapon display that is given to us by default, which means there's a remaining eight other displays you can purchase here from Bolson for 800 rupees. This allows you to place weapons, bows, and shields on the wall for either for storage for later or just for showing off because you're awesome. My personal favorite thing to do is collect all of the champion weapons, shield, and bow because there's enough slots on the wall that you can have all of them, the full set, on display at the same time. The next most useful thing to purchase is definitely going to be a bed, which will allow us to heal for free and also change the time of day whenever we want. Although we can just use campfires to change the time of day, and honestly, as far as healing is concerned, I think it's food is just better. Like, by the time you can actually have enough rupees to purchase, as a house anyway, you probably have access to tons of great farming locations where you can get good food ingredients that you can fry up into a
amazing meal is it will probably give you golden hearts at this point anyway, which is just going to be superior and what you're going to want to do before you set out on a big adventure. Now you don't have to do the remaining upgrades, the final ones are all purely cosmetic and only for the purpose of gussying up the place. However, just know that if you don't complete them, then the Hylian homeowner side quest will never be complete. It'll just be sitting there in your quest log, incomplete, quietly tisking in your general direction because of your lack of motivation. So if that's the kind of thing that'll give you trouble sleeping at night, then I'd recommend you just finish it up and get it over with. Alright, so now that everything's purchased, I'll give you a quick tour so you can see everything. By the way, in case you didn't know this, in the lore it's kind of heavily implied that this house was owned by Link 100 years ago, then of course who went to sleep, and so now we are repurchasing the same house and refurbishing it and bringing it back up to its former glory, so that's kind of awesome. I'm really happy with this side quest, I'm glad it's in the game and it's really fun to have your own house. However, the one thing that makes me pretty sad is I just wish that we had mannequins, because we already have mannequins in the game, and if we had some kind of UI to transfer the items onto it, just like we do with the gear displays, if we could do that with our armor onto mannequins, and I think they'd fit really nicely in the three corners next to the gear displays, but if we had the ability to do that, we could store our armors and show them off, which would be really cool. Like, we can already dye armor in this game, so I think it would just make that feature a little more prominent or make it a little more awesome. This is particularly true for those of you, like me, who have the DLC and some of the amiibo because you have access to armor that you can't actually pick up because the game only has three pages of armor that you can have, and the base game already has, like, about two and a half pages worth of armor, which means you are hit that cap very quickly and then you cannot acquire any more. So it's very sad. So if you want to get some of the cool armors that you have access to, you actually have to sell some of the armor you already have in order to make room for it. You see this cosmetically handsome face right here? Yeah, this is the face of sadness. I think the only other thing that's really necessary that would really make this place feel like home would be a display case for Hestu's poop. I'm thinking right in the middle of that dining table. What about you, O oh viewer? Yes, you, the person watching this video right now. Let me know in that magical comment section below if there's anything you think this house should have had. In the meantime, I do believe I've done a fabulous job of explaining how to complete the Hylian homeowner side quest in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name's Caleb Simpson. Be sure to check out all of my other guides and walkthroughs for the Legend of Zelda series, which you can find on my channel. So be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Speaking of which, there is a follow-up quest to this one in which we are going to be able to build Tarrytown. So stay tuned for the next video where I will show you how to complete from the ground up side quest and engage in citywide construction. Remember to stay awesome, give an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.